Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would be Hank. And I am Ben Howard. And here tonight we're going to have another week, which is episode four of Hank and Boone Howard's Fitness. Uh, and here tonight we've got a great topic. What is our topic? Our topic is how to break a plateau. Yes, we will tell you some ways to break a plateau, because I know that once you lived, once you start lifting, you will hit a plateau later down the road. And it discourages most people when they quit lifting, which I'm here to tell you how you can break the plateau. We've done research, we've talked to people, we know how to break a plateau. And here are the ways. Well, let me start off before we get to the ways. What is a plateau? What is a plateau? Yes. Do you know? What's your definition of plateau? Plateau is that annoying thing that makes your muscles stop growing because your body is used to it. Exactly. Your body is adapted to your workout and you can't get any bigger. Either that or you need to recheck some stuff. So, here's our ways. Okay, what's the first way? What's first, one of the ways? What's one of the ways? One of the ways is change your workout. Yep. What do you mean? By what I mean by that is if you you need to go harder, I mean you might need to switch your days up. I mean maybe, maybe you go on Monday, Tuesday, taking Wednesday off and hitting right back at it. Yeah, with the workout thing I'll add something to it. With the workout thing, what he's basically saying, say Monday you did your back. Do that shit on a Wednesday. And your caps. Yeah, you move it to a Wednesday. And whatever you had Wednesdays, it was chest and biceps, move it to another day. Just change your exercise days and what you're doing on that day. Workout days and what you're doing on the day. Okay, go on. Well, what would you think? Well, of course, you if you're changing your days and you're changing your workout, you need to definitely change your exercise. Yeah, you need to make them more intense. Or anything, it doesn't matter. Just long something your body ain't used to doing. Yeah. To get your body ready. And it goes along with our next step. Muscle shock. Which ain't a step, it's another way. Yeah, it's another, another way. way. So, excuse me. Uh, it's muscle shock, excuse you. It's muscle shock. Which is... Which, I don't want to burp you tonight. Which is basically... Say you hit the gym. Like, what muscle shock is, it's doing something your body is not used to doing. Like, yeah, you can lift four days a week, or five days a week, or three days a week, or one day a week. But when you hit, when you go, you know what I'm saying, and you're lifting, you know. See, like, for example, if you do it, one of the muscle shock techniques is superset triset, okay? Which basically a superset is you do one exercise, like, say you're doing a bicep curl, and it's thinking of itself as an upright row, which, with the barbell row, I don't know what you call it. Let's just go with barbell row and the lat pull down. You do the lat pull down or the barbell row, whichever's first, first, for how many times you want to do it, and then you get off real quick, jump on the barbell row, do it, no break, no rest. And that's one set. That's that, and the triceps, the same thing, but with three exercises. And then another technique you can use is the drop set. Like, say, for example, your barbell curl. You have a, if it's great to do drop sets with a partner, right? So, what would you do during this? You don't even know. Well, you curl it, and after I do my 10 reps, or how many reps you gotta do, my part, your partner would take weight off each Oh, yeah. You take weight off each side. And then, what's to do with the weights do? Then, to do with the weights, there's go. 10 more reps. Yep. So, while, when you're doing your first 10 reps, you pause. You don't put the weight down. You pause while he takes it off. So he takes it off, you go again. And he keeps on going down. What's another way? What's, 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 what's another way that you can break a plateau? Another way to break the plateau? Yep, but Is that you word that I do not remember. The you word? Changing your nutrition? Yeah, changing or your nutrition. Actually, evaluating. Yeah. Or analyzing. Yeah. How can you analyze your work? I mean, your nutrition. Maybe people sometimes you are not getting the gains that you are wanting. Rather, you are cutting or bulking. See, people, 
What it is is, is that you may not be getting the foods and the calories that your body is needing. Mm -hmm. You need to change your food source. You need to get more calories if you're bulking. Get less calories if you are cutting. I'm trying to get the calories to maintain the weight you yeah. want to be at. Yeah, that's what I was getting no, at. Okay, go ahead. And constantly get there and eat and do what you need because that is one of the main you can really break a plateau. Oh yeah, you really break. If you have a good diet, diet you break plateau. Diet basically sums up everything. <laughs> diet. And uh, we go on to the next step. Get more sleep. You gotta have sleep to get bigger or whatever. Since sleeping, your muscles don't your muscles don't grow while you're at the gym while you're lifting. Your muscles grow when you're not lifting and you're getting time to recover and basically when you recover is mostly when you sleep. When you sleep your muscles have time to recover and what? I'm, I'm, I'm starting. I'm starting. The next step I'm sorry. The next way, another way you can break your plateau is to get more sleep. Which sleep is very important in life in general. Okay. Now, there's a lot. sleep is great. <laughs> sleep is great. Like I was saying, the more sleep you get, the better. Your muscles don't build while you're at the gym lifting the weights, but it helps. But they're not building there. They're just getting the work needed. When you sleep, is basically when most of the building they build when they when you sleep mostly, and they also build. I mean, and not only does sleeping help that. It helps you with recovery, which is very important in lifting. Is that right now? Yes. Why is it very important? <laughs> it's just very important, guys. It's just very, 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 very important. Because, you know, you have recovery, you're able to go again, and you don't have the risk of overworking your muscles. So what's the next way of boot hammer? Go intense in the gym. What do you mean by that? Go hard in the gym. If you don't push yourself, don't expect gains. That is not a plateau. That is that you are not working. You're not dedicated and you're going thinking you can do light weight. You're not pushing yourself. If you ain't pushing yourself, you don't need to be lifting. Because what's the point of it? You can push yourself. If you're sitting there and you're on the cable roll or something, and you're just doing light weight, and you're doing it real easy, real easy, not even breaking a sweat, you're like, what a great workout day. You're never going to go big. If you're going to get serious, you throw in whatever you have to push yourself to do it. But make sure you have the right form at all times. And the final way that I think is the best, that is a good way to break a plateau, would be taking a week off, guys. I mean, come on. If you work out a lot, yeah, your body would, no matter what, get adapted, right? Mm -hmm. And later down the road, your body's gonna adapt, like I just said. Now. You have that, and you're just going to be flat for the rest. If you take a week off, your muscles don't know how to act because they're used to pushing yourself. So they go, they relax, right? Right. And when you go back, you're ready to hit hard again. And then it shocks your muscles because they took the week off, and they're relaxed. They're not used to pushing yourself for the day. And then when you go, hit the gym again the next week, boom, they're right back, and they're ready. They're shocked. They're pumping again. And so... When to take a week off, of course, is what you're all asking. Do you know when to take a week off? Uh, pretty when sure... Would you, when would you take a week off? After six weeks of a workout or eight? Yeah, that's very short. I... You do two workout cycles. What's the workout cycle? Six to eight weeks. Eight to twelve weeks. No. But you're getting there. It's eight to twelve weeks, right? Right, so that's a workout circle. It's one circle cycle. You pick it. Some workouts tell you what to do if you don't create your own workout. That's one workout cycle. The next one is another workout cycle. There's two workout cycles. Take the next week off. Hit it again hard. Keep on going continuously for the rest of your life. If you want to be a bodybuilder for life, you know. So, that's pretty much it. You know anything you want to tell your fans before we go on to the next segment? Um, you got anything you want to tell? Yeah, go hard in the gym. Okay. Don't back down. Bodybuilding is uh, not a sport, it's a way of life. Exactly.
Exactly. Now, if y'all have any questions, you can post a comment, send us a message. We'll holler back at you somehow in the next episode, which we'll be showing motivation. It's the motivation episode. We will show you motivation in the next episode. And then we'll, after the motivation segment we make, at the end of that, we will answer some questions that we pick up if we have any questions. So if you got a question, ask us. We'll do our best to answer it. And if you want us to make a workout, we'll do it. Just tell me what type of workout y'all want, and what basically what what are you training for? Are you trying to cut, get in shape for a sport like football, basketball? Are you wanting to find a way to get bulk real good, build up strength, lose fat? There's a lot of different workouts. And you want me to make a workout? Same thing as asking a question, because basically that is a question. Can you make me a workout? This is what I want. Okay, and we'll do our best to do it. We'll make the best work you ever had. Today's episode just came to end. And we're glad you all spent the time with us. I would be Hank. And I am Boone Howard. Please subscribe and we'll see y'all next week on the motivation episode. Goodbye. <laughs>